In this video, we're going to wrap up our how to color series and we're going to look at how to color groups and then we're going to take a look at our preferences and some of these default settings and see how they work. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm guessing you probably already know how to do the groups, being that we've already looked at tracks, clips and tracks, a little bit at clips and clip list and markers, but I wanna go ahead and look at groups here. So I'll go ahead and select groups from our drop down in our color palette. And I've already been through several times how to get to the color palette. Uh, the easiest way is just to click on a strip there. Of course, you can always go to window and color palette. But we'll go over here to groups and we already have our groups set up. If you don't know how to make a group, uh, basically you just select the tracks you want in the group and control G and go ahead and name your group. So new group, name it whatever you want. Go through here, make it a edit group, mix group or mix and edit group. You can choose other tracks in here that you can also add to the group. As you can see, this is the tracks right here that are currently in the group. And then just create your group. But we already have our groups created. This video is not on how to create groups. This is how to color groups. So we already have our groups over here. Now they are disabled. So I'll hit Control Shift G to turn that on and Control Shift G to turn that off. So Control Shift G. Again, I'm on Windows. So that's why I'm saying Control Shift and G. You can see those groups are turned on. So how you color groups is just like how we colored tracks, markers, and other things like that. But we wanna make sure we actually select the group. So here's our background vocals, which are these tracks right here. Now, if I just highlight that group in blue there, and I go to change the group with the color, nothing's happening. Let me switch over to groups, nothing's happening. Okay, that's because we actually need to come over here and make sure we check this radio button. You can't really see it, but click over here in this area and you can see that turns that on. So it's now all those tracks are selected. So now, as long as we have groups selected here, which that should change automatically. So if I select this track, our drop down turns to tracks. If I come over here and again, select that radio button, it changes to groups, or you can always use a drop down and go to groups. So how do you think you do this? Very easy. Just select the color. There we go. Now you can see our yellow up here. So we know what group we're in and we can see yellow over here. Let's turn that to a blue there. Okay, so now that's blue. And if we select our lead vocal track, make sure we select it with that radio button. All those tracks are selected and we'll turn that green. We can see green over here, see green up there and so on and so forth. So guitar group, make sure we select the radio button and we'll turn that sort of like a pink. So now we can see the pink up here and the pink over here. So that is coloring groups. That's pretty much all you need to know about coloring groups. So now let's dive in to set up preferences and go through some of these default settings a little bit more. Now in a previous video where we looked at clips and tracks and we went over clips and clip list. All right, let's just head over to our clips in clip list. And I'll just select some clips here. Make sure we have clips and clips list selected right there and say yellow. Now we have yellow markers here, yellow colors for all of our clips. If we hit default, default is no color. All right, so turn that yellow. Okay, we, un we understood that, right? So back to setup preferences. And again, we went over this in the last video where we went with our default clip coloring and we chose the clip list color, click OK. Now all those clips that are in this list here that are actually in our track will turn, will turn yellow. To see this easier, let me just select these clips here and let me control shift G, make sure to turn off all the groups there. And I'll just select these clips here and you can see they're over here. Let's change this to clip and clips list and we'll change those red so all those now, as you can see, the selected are red and we can select clips and tracks there and click default. Now all those are turned red. I could do something similar here. Just highlight all those. Okay. And clips and tracks and clips and clips list. Let's make those yellow and you can see those turned, turned yellow there, the ones that we had selected and we can always click clips and tracks, choose default, turns all of those yellow because they match up because Come here again, set up in preferences. Display, that is our default for clip color coding. Now we can take this a step further. 
we have groups, so let's go to groups. So now our default clip color coding is for groups, not the color over here in our clips list. Ah, so now we saw an immediate change there. So control shift G, turn my groups back on, and wow, what do you know? Now my colors are showing up in my clips by default, again, because we have our clip color defaulting to the group color. So our background vocals are that blue color. Our lead vocals should be a green color and guitars should be a pink color here. And of course, if I control shift G, turn that off, then we don't have a color. Control shift G, turn that on, I deselect it. See, it turns them off. Here's a guitar. Click that, turns those on. Again, because that's the default. Now I can always click in here. That's selecting the whole group. I can go to tracks and change it to yellow. So that's our tracks over here. Go to clips and tracks, and we can make that green. We can override that if we want. So now we have, select this clip here. You can see this clip doesn't have a color, so I can clips and clips list, make that red. So now we have all kinds of different colors going on here. And you could always come into preferences. And now we can change our default clip color to clip list color. So now that should change them to red, which it didn't. That's okay. Just come here to clips and tracks, click default, now they're red. Pretty cool. All right, so as you can see, hopefully, by going to setup preferences and changing our default color coding type for tracks and our clips, we can sort of have a continuity between the colors of our clips in the clip list and the colors of our clips on the actual track. Okay, but we can take this even further or differently. We can take this in a different direction. I should say, come back to setup preferences. Now we'll go to default track color coding so far tracks change that to groups okay and let's switch over to the mix page to see this so here's our background vocal select that and just go to tracks default and there we go now the default color is the same color as our group so if i were to change my groups color and again make sure i have that selected to I don't know, green, then our tracks also turn green. Okay, does, does, does all that make sense? So lead vocals, let's select all that. And for the group, let's turn the group blue. All right, and make sure we go to our tracks, default that. And there we go, now our tracks are the same color as our group color. Pretty cool. Now we can take this even further. Setup, preferences, we already have our default track color coding to groups, we can make our clip color coding to groups as well. Okay, so let's switch back over here. Let's go down to say the guitar tracks. And there we go, those are that pink color we have over here in the groups because we have our groups as the track color, which, which uh, we'll have to default that. And our default color coding for the clips is also groups. So again, if I go to group here and I have our guitar Selected, let's turn that green, and our clips turn green there. And we go to tracks there, so those tracks are all selected. And click default there. Okay, so now everything is green, except of course our clips in the clip list, so we can go ahead and turn that green as well. So now we have complete continuity between our clips, our tracks, and our clip list, and our groups. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully all that makes sense. So if I go to groups now, turn that orange. Now everything turns orange, except for the color over here in our, in our, uh, in our clips list. All right, again, groups go to purple because we have this guitar track selected over here. Everything turns purple, green, everything turns green, blue, everything turns blue. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. The default settings there. Be sure to check out these other settings. I don't need to go into all of them. Uh, you can figure them out on your own. Between all of these four videos, you'll be able to understand, hopefully, uh, how this defaulting works. But using the groups, it, uh, you know, it can be helpful for that continuity between your clips and your groups and your tracks. Of course, you can always 
change things individually if you want. So I can always change my tracks or I can always change just the clips in the track or I can always come over here and change the group. I can do all that individually, of course. And by the way, the hold will still work. So if this group is, we have this purple, go to hold, go to my lead vocals, make sure that's selected there. And that purple's still in focus. So now that's purple as well. All right, so I believe this finishes up how to color everything in Pro Tools. Everything from tracks, clips and tracks, clips and clip list, our groups, and our markers. If you haven't watched those other videos, go back and watch those. Everything is explained thoroughly, so you can get set up, start coloring everything really quickly in Pro Tools, have a rainbow of colors, and uh, don't forget those default settings here. You can uh, do whatever you want. So, you know, another thing we could do, which I don't think I showed, was the default clip coloring. We can do that to track color as well. So as you can see with that selected, now our tracks, our clips in tracks, will be the same color as our actual tracks, okay? If they're not, you can always click default and it will default to that color. And then you can have complete continuity between your clips in your tracks, your tracks, and even if you want, over here, the clips in your clips list, you can have everything the same color to make it easier for you to edit. All right, so that wraps up our look at how to brighten up Pro Tools by using colors, using the color palette, and changing the color of everything to whatever you want.